And new developments in the search for an ATM and the man who went to such great lengths to steal it from inside a gas station. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. Police have found the stolen ATM inside a stolen SUV. Yeah, it was ditched in a backyard on Detroit's east side. This all started early this morning in Chesterfield Township. And that's where Nick Monticelli standing by live tonight. He's been talking with the detectives working a pretty odd case. Nick? All day long, in fact, Devin. So this is the gas station at the corner of Cotton and Jefferson in Chesterfield Township where the SUV crashed through these doors and the management kind of making light of the situation. It's kind of hard not to when something like this happens. As you mentioned, that SUV, the stolen SUV, has been found on Detroit's east side about 20 minutes from here in the backyard of an abandoned home. Evidence technicians are standing by. But in the meantime, detectives are hoping you can recognize these guys caught on the surveillance cameras. Security cameras don't always record audio, but when they do, it gives what happened an entirely different feeling. I came in and I just seen it like this. There was a cop by the door. Alex Zora has worked at this marathon station for five years. This morning, the first thing he did was check those security cameras. Doesn't look like it's their first time. The video shows it. This happened at 3.32 a.m. Three suspects used a stolen red Dodge Durango to crash through the front doors. <laughs> their rope busted during their first attempt to steal the ATM. Nailed one of his legs, yeah. Yep, I seen that. So that was a ballsy move, man, that they, they, they did. <laughs> Obviously, it worked the second time. There was some optimism in the community after false reports spread that two were quickly arrested. They said they got two guys, so I don't know if they did or not. That's actually wrong. There's That's no, wrong. Nobody in custody. Nobody in custody for it, huh? I just, somebody told me they had two suspects for it, so. Chesterfield's police chief says a car was pulled over. There was some vehicle stop during the investigative process after the alarm, and, and uh, no one was arrested. There's been no, uh, we haven't identified any suspects. <laughs> So back out here live, as you can see, the gas station is still open while the light's going on and off outside. So one thing to keep in mind, though, what's happening down in the Detroit area. They had mentioned, at least a detective I just talked to said they're not sure just yet if they were actually able to get inside of the ATM. They say they can see some damage to it through the windows of this SUV. It's a Dodge Durango, but they don't want to touch it just yet. They want their evidence technicians to process it, try to get fingerprints, whatever they can off of it and then they'll see what else they can find out. We're live in Chesterfield Township. Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Nick, we see these uh, ATM thefts from time to time. Is there anything businesses can do differently to keep the ATM in place? You know, actually, that's something the that detectives have been talking with the managers here at the gas station about. There's a couple of things. Number one, this ATM was actually right inside of the door. They're right around the corner where those papers are right now. They say that's one of the things. If you can yeah. move those ATMs towards the back of the store, that is a deterrent. Also, getting some more security on these doors, something a little thicker that you can't just plow through. Yeah, it seems crook-friendly to have it uh, so near the door, that's for sure. All right, Nick.